Hi there. In our series of videos called Short Answers, we look at a key definition and then a short related question. This video is on microeconomics and it focuses on substitution effects. So our first question is, what is meant by the substitution effect in a market for two or more products? Well, the key thing here is that the substitution effect is the change in demand for a particular product when its relative price changes, its price relative to a competing product, for example. Yes, for example, a rise in the price of uh, maybe a song download on Apple iTunes might cause some consumers to substitute their spending away from Apple iTunes towards streaming services such as Spotify. The closer that two products are as substitutes, the closer they're regarded as substitutes by the consumer, and also the lower is the cost and or the inconvenience of making a switch, then the stronger will be the size of the substitution effect. This, of course, is linked in with the concept of cross-price elasticity of demand. Here's a related question. Good, goods X and Y are substitutes. Explain how a change in the cost of producing X might affect the demand curve and the supply curve of good Y, a substitute. Okay, so here's the explanation in words first. A change in the cost of producing good X will cause a shift in the supply of good X. Let's take, for example, an increase in the global price of energy, which causes an increase in the market price of electricity supplied to households. Maybe the price of oil, for example, has gone up and oil powered uh, power stations, uh, their cost increase. So that will cause an inward shift of supply for electricity, causing the market price to go up. Now, I mean, there could be a substitution effect. Some people may be decide that if they think the price of electricity is going to remain pretty high, this price hike is a good commercial reason to spend some money on solar panels, have them uh, fitted. Solar panels, of course, being a substitute to having electricity piped to your home. So people may start to generate their own renewable energy. Think about this in terms of diagrams. So we need two diagrams for this. We want a market for the market for electricity and the market for solar panels. First of all, we look at the inward shift in the supply of electricity caused by higher costs. That causes the market price of electricity to go up from P1 to P2. And this then in theory should cause the price of solar panels to, to increase as well. So an inward shift of the supply of good X, electricity, causes a rise in the price of X. This will then cause an outward shift in the demand curve for the substitute good Y, which we're going to call solar panels. An outward shift in demand for solar panels causes an expansion along the supply curve for good Y. And the market will reach a new equilibrium eventually with a higher price and uh, an expansion of quantity traded. There's our short answer on substitution effects.